All right, so this is a quick video in Revit on how to create a family for structural purposes. Um, here in Revit 2016, you have recent files window open. Go click new under family. Pick an existing Revit family template file to work off of. I'm gonna just use the generic model because it's simple and easy. Hit open. You have a standard family here. Go to your family categories and parameters, and since you're dealing with structural, set it up for one of the structural categories. For example, say structural foundation. Hit OK. Now go ahead and build your custom L-shaped family. And the easiest way to do this is create reference planes that define the front, the back. If you head over to a front elevation, go through the process of moving your level. Again, create a reference plane for the top. <coughs> Excuse me. Create a reference plane for one side, for the other side, for the top of the L, and also for the end of the L. If you need to get fancy, you can go through and make some minor adjustments. Um, for example, creating a dimension for the thickness, setting it so that they were equally moving uh, when you make the adjustment. If you need to, again, move your reference planes so that they're lined up nicely. Uh, dimension this as well. Dimension equality from here as well. And then if you head over to front elevation, it gets a little bit more uniform. Put in a dimension for this height that you need. Put in an overall dimension for one direction and an overall dimension for the other. Uh, and then if you head back to the plan view, you can set up things like labeling for each of the legs. So we'll do one, we'll do another one. <clears throat> head back to the front elevation. We'll do this one as C. You can name this specifically if you want to. I'm just doing it quick and down and dirty for you so you get the concept and the understanding. Now that you've done this, you can go ahead and create your extrusion. You can use the pick method and lock as you select the reference planes so that they are aligned and locked to the faces of the object. Once you've done this, clean it up. Once this is finished, head over to a reference level, finish it. Go ahead and make sure that you're aligning and locking the correct planes, uh, faces of the object to the correct reference planes. Go look at it in 3D, shade it up if you have to. Make some quick adjustments to the sizes that you made earlier and the parameters. So let's say I do one, 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 one. Well, let's do five, five, and apply, and it will adjust accordingly. Because you've categorized it as structural, you can then go ahead and save it as a family, wherever you want. Once you've done this, go ahead and start a new project. And I'm going to work off of structural. I'll control tab back to the file, load it into the project, place it. And if I zoom in and do a section cut, go to that view. Switch it to fine, shade it up if you need to, select it, and then you can start doing rebar. So depending on how you want to place your rebar uh, and which ones you want to work with and whatever the layouts are going to be, you know, for example, single or max spacing of, I don't know, three inches, <clears throat> you can go through and start adding rebar. If we look at it in 3D, you'll see it like this. If you switch to a final level of detail, this is what you're going to get. If you select the rebar, you can head over to visibility and set it so that they can be seen as solid. And same with thing with the other ones. And these up here as well. <clears throat> so once you've set the rebar the way you'd like, to be seen, you can then see it, and if you shade it, 
we get a better idea. So this is quick and down and dirty way of creating a family that has structural capability so you can add rebar. Um, and let me know if you need help. Thanks. Bye.